At the end of this video you will exactly know whether you should use the Cine EI mode of Sony cinema cameras or the custom mode. With the Cine EI mode you can only use the two base ISO values of the camera, because with these you get the most dynamic range out of the camera sensor. But there are situations like this one here where the scene is just a bit too dark for ISO 800. As you can see when we expose for this white bar, it should be on this orange line here. But it is a bit lower. It would be nice if we could just expose this a bit brighter, but we cannot raise the ISO in Cine EI mode. Hey, just raise the lights. I know I could raise the lights, but that's not the point in this video. So the question is, wouldn't this image be cleaner if we switched to custom mode in the FX6 and raised the gain or ISO? Or should we stay in Cine EI and raise the exposure in post-production by one stop? What gives us the best results? Let's compare the Cine EI footage to the custom mode footage. Of course, both modes have to be set to record S-Log3. I get asked sometimes how you can even record in S-Log3 in custom mode, because per default it's set to s cinetone In the user menu go to Base Settings, Shooting Mode and set it to Custom. Then go to the main menu, Paint Look, select Base Look and press Select and then make sure you have No LUT selected. Now it records in Custom Mode S-Log3. So this is what our scene looks like in Cine EI mode. This next footage is the result when we film it with custom mode and S-Log3. I set 0 dB as gain, which means no gain is added inside of the camera. In other words, with the native ISO of 800. As you can see, both images look completely the same. So it doesn't make any difference whether you film in Cine EI or in custom mode, as long as you stay in the base ISO. For the next test, we raise the gain in custom mode to get a brighter result. In general, why am I always talking about gain values and not ISO? Well, gain values are technically connected to the ISO values, but I prefer working with gain values because they tell you more what's going on inside of the camera. And that's the following. Even in custom mode, the camera always uses the signal it gets from the base ISO of the camera, so 800, but then it adds gain afterwards and boosts the signal. So the same that we could do in post-production, but it's already done in camera. And if the gain is zero, the camera adds no electronic gain and that's why it looks exactly like the Cine EI footage. For every additional 6 dB we add, the gain is doubled in camera, which is quite the same as doubling the ISO, which is again the same as exposing one stop brighter. So the camera takes the original base ISO sensor image and boosts it electronically by one stop. But this also doubles the amount of noise we have in the image and reduces the general dynamic range by one stop which we can see here. This is the custom mode shot and on the left is the Cine EI shot. What I did is, I raised the exposure of the Cine EI shot so that these white levels match with the custom mode shot. You can see that when we hover over the bar, this is the level of white. And that's the same level in both shots. What we see is that the blacks are crushed on the custom shot. There is no information. Zero red, zero green, zero blue. Whereas in the Cine EI shot, we still have color information that we can work with. And if we add 12 dB of gain, this gets even more evident. You see the blacks are totally crushed. This is the Cine EI shot raised by two stops. We have some nice information in the shadows. And it gets even clearer that Cine EI performs way better when we switch some lights on. Again we have the Cine EI shot on the left and the custom mode shot on the right. With 0 dB, 6 dB and plus 12 dB. With 0 dB the custom shot looks exactly the same as the Cine EI shot, as expected. With plus 6 dB, the highlights start clipping in custom mode, whereas our raised Cine EI shot has no problems. That gets even clearer when we raise it by two stops and compare it to the custom mode shot with plus 12 dB. Look at these cutoff highlights, we're screwed, compared to our very healthy highlights with the raised Cine EI shot. So in general, I think it's safe to say we should use Cine EI whenever possible. It just gives us the best results. In a situation where ISO 800 is much too dark, maybe two or three stops underexposed, we can switch to the second base ISO, 12800, which is four stops brighter. Maybe we need to use ND filters even to bring down the exposure. But we get a much cleaner image by doing this, rather than raising the ISO 800 image by three stops. This would lead to too much noise. If the whole Cine EI topic is still a bit confusing for you, watch this video here and you will totally understand it afterwards.